Okay, uh, hi out there in the YouTube world. It's me again, the Puzzle Master. Um, gonna do the video today about long hair. Um, so, you can see my hair is pretty long now. Um, I don't know. It's about like six, seven inches on every, like, wherever you could grab it. Um, the reason being is because uh, a while back, um, about a year ago, um, I got a haircut. And, but by haircut, I mean like I actually took a razor blade and shaved my head completely bald um, just because I had bleached and dyed the crap out of my, my hair so much that it was didn't feel nice. And, and this is all my normal hair now, so I didn't, uh, no product or anything in it. I just had a shower and this is what it's like dry. So, I'm gonna, so no product or anything in it. I just let it air dry. So this is kind of how curly or wavy it is. But, yeah, if you're interested in growing your hair out, if you're a guy, um, do it. Just, uh, I don't know, why are you hesitating? If you want to, do it. Um, I don't know. It has a lot more uh, variability. Um, like, you can kind of switch your hair up a lot. Um, a lot of different things you could do with it. Like, if you put it in a ponytail. Or, like, I'm not actually going to put it in a ponytail, but you know what I mean? It makes it appear shorter if you can't see the hair. You know what I mean? And then this is like kind of like what I looked like when I didn't have hair. Except there wasn't even this. Like it was, I actually was like a skinhead. But I happen to like long hair quite a bit. I find it actually a lot easier to maintain than like the short hair was. Or, like, if it's very short, like, buzz cut, then obviously that's even easier than this, because... And I do like the feeling of, like, being able to touch your scalp. And, like, you know, when, like, when, like, really short hair first grows in and it feels all prickly. But, yeah. I also like when it's long, too. I'm not, I'm not dissing the long, because obviously I've been going with that. But, uh, this is what a year of hair growth looks like. So, basically, if you have, like... And, and my hair grew back from being completely uh, razor blade, right? So it was like buzz cut everywhere. Now, normal haircuts, if you're going to start to grow in your hair, um, I'd actually recommend if you're a guy, just shave it like I did first, because it'll get rid of any of the, uh, like if you've dyed your hair a lot, then it'll get rid of all the damaged hair. And then you can start fresh with new. And uh, just because if you already, if you had bangs, for example, and then it was like, you know, like pretty much short, but you had bangs, and then you grow it out. I think that would kind of look kind of weird. Um, not dissing anybody out there in the YouTube, but there's someone that did does some hair videos, and like, I don't like the bang look, okay? And like, I'd never cut my bangs. Like, so my bangs are the same length as the hair that's growing in the back. Like, because when I razor bladed it, like with the, the Mach 3 Turbo, it, it made it all zero, right? So if you already have bangs that are like that long, and then as it grows out from the side being short, your bangs are going to be longer, and there'll be kind of a dis discrepancy there. But uh, yeah, basically, if you if you like long hair, it's not that much more difficult than having short hair at all. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, I don't know. Like you really don't have to. There's a whole bunch of like videos about hair care and all that kind of crap on YouTube, but I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I know I sound really dissing in that, but I just mean that, like, kind of like how those makeup and all that, you can do that, but you don't need to do it, you know what I mean, like, like, you know what I mean, it's even with women, like, I just mean all those makeup tutorials and stuff, when you wake up in the morning, you're fine, you're good to go, like, like, this is me, like, like, without makeup or anything, like, like, you know what I mean, like, I just, like, not to say that I never wear it, because I actually have a video about a uh, makeup tutorial, just if you have, like, really bad under-the-eye thing, uh, you kind of see there, hey, uh, but whatever, right? It's, it's bad to wear that kind of crap all the time, too, so, but, uh, yeah, grow your hair out if you want to, and uh, highly recommend it. It's really easy to do, and this is what it looks like after a year. I just, uh... And, I don't know, it's pretty easy to style, because, like, you know, you can just be, like, insane messy, and then, you know, go like that.
and whatever, you know, like, bam, and then it's normal again, like, but, because once, once it actually gets, like, this length, like, once it reaches past, it's officially long once I find that it kind of, like, hangs on, like, this part, like, because obviously the hair up here, that's kind of just, like, when I used to have emo bangs, um, it doesn't really mean you have long hair, but it's the back hair, which I'm not used to having this back hair, because uh, I've never had long hair in the back in my whole life, so, um, but once it's reached my shoulders, and I'm, I've actually used to it being, like, on my neck and stuff, that's kind of when you have, like, the uh, appearance of having long hair, so, um, if you already have medi uh, medium long hair, or, like, not like this, but a little bit shorter, then in a year, it would be really long, because this is what a year well, my hair, anyway, has turned after a year from shaving it. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, let me know what you think. Mwah.